Okay guys, we're back and today what we're going to do is continue with the uh, MAME Arcade. So what we're going to do is I'm going to crack this puppy open and we're going to find out if this monitor can actually power the Raspberry Pi off of the circuitry it already has in here. So we know there's a little bit of low voltage stuff for the controls and whatnot. Also on a side note, um, more parts from China. Everybody loves parts from China. So not that it really matters, but uh, two TDA 7000 chips. These are for building FM radios, so uh, I'll have a video about that shortly. Female pin headers, which I actually didn't need more of, but for some reason I just keep buying pin headers. And 100 2N2222 NPN transistors. Great. So. More stuff to use in projects. And uh, that 100 transistors actually only cost two or three, it wasn't even three dollars. So uh, keep that in mind if you're not in a rush and you want to order those parts, you can do it off China eBay. Hopefully they're real, we don't know. But uh, the other good news is for cutting the case, I did a little bit of auto cutting. I haven't finalized the case yet, but I'm pretty close. So I think I'm gonna cut it out soon. I bought a new blade for my table saw. It's a bit of an antique, but I'll probably make a video of me cutting up some of the parts for fun. And uh, I'll post the AutoCAD drawings somewhere when I'm done. But uh, it's an old table. I greased her up and uh, yeah, a new blade. So I was cutting some parts. My wife uh, bought a junk dresser and we uh, had to make new parts for it and we painted it. And nothing to do whatsoever with what I'm about to do. But okay, let's see if we can get some kind of five volts out of this thing or see what we can do so it'll simplify the wiring of the project if we only have to plug one thing in and if we can steal the power from something else so here we go On the back of most monitors, you will find these four holes. These are standard. These are the VESA mount, VESA, VESA mount. And this actually means that you can probably buy a bracket quite easily that matches this unit and wall mount it, which also means that this bottom part probably comes off quite easily. Housing removed. So there's the little tack switches for the buttons, for the controls. And on the back, the shielding is still in place, which is Inside the beast, here we go. There's our transformer, opto couplers. We have, I'm assuming, a voltage regulator, transformers, caps, all kinds of juicy stuff. So, uh, even though this has been turned off, it probably could still give you a bit of a uh, bit of a bite. But uh, we're gonna go through and probe and see if we can find what we're looking for. Two red wires on that connector are VCC 5 volts, so they're using two probably to uh, spread the current out, which kind of makes me think that even though I haven't found a regulator on here, I don't really get how it's working, I think this thing's actually going to supply enough current if they were actually worrying about uh, the impacity enough that they put two cables on. I use this to power my Pi for my capstone project, which I actually took a USB micro USB cable and I uh, 
I use this to uh, power my Pi off of a uh, 12, 12 volt wall wart. So I stepped down and uh, did that. So what I'm going to do though is I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to solder it onto the 5 volt rail that I just found on here. We're going to see if I can boot the Pi stable and uh, we'll go from there. So this actually might work for uh, powering the Pi up for the main machine. After we solder, continuity test. Not to make sure my solder is good, but to make sure that I haven't soldered to something else. The two VCC pins should be connected. That's okay. That's a good thing. The ground. Okay, put back together. Let's plug in the power cord. Here you go, guys. It's Raspberry Pi is booting off of the power supply built into the monitor. So we just saved ourselves from having to put a 5 volt supply into this unit to get it to boot. Yeah. Who needs a power supply? Well, there you go. Um, we're going to power the Pi off the monitor, so we'll only have to plug in one cable to power this thing and everything else will be okay. So there you have it. So we answered questions. We know that we can use this monitor. We know that uh, the Pi can be powered off of it. We don't have to worry about a secondary power supply. What else do we know? Uh, well. I guess that's all there was to know today. All right, awesome, thanks. Actually, we just discovered that uh, if I turn the monitor off with the power button on and I unhook the control panel, it seems to be quite happy without it, which is actually a bonus. So you won't be able to adjust the brightness or the contrast. I'll hang on to this. But uh, for the most part, you're not gonna touch it. So I'm gonna remove this and not worry about the buttons.